we serve, he's not only a deliverer, the God we serve, he's a keeper. And he is a preserver. And God respects us. Just like he wants us to be, that's the way he is. He's an honorable God. Just like he wants us to keep his word. The Bible says he watches over his word to perform it. See, you have to understand some God's reputation. And you know what he said? Before one jot or two, let me see in the Hebrew language, one of those slashes, one of those, before any one of those fail, heaven and earth is going to pass away. We're in one of the greatest times in history, saints of God. We have a time now where we can step up in prayer. We can step up in our consecration. We can step up in our study. We can step up in our total commitment to an almighty God. And we can watch God undergird us. We can watch God strengthen us, face it, because the hand of the, of the Lord was upon us. God can raise us up. He can put you in places. The Bible says a man's gift maketh room and bringeth him before great men. You don't have to do anything. God, your gift will make room for you. That's why we have to find ourselves willing and ready. I tell the people of God all the time, I'm like Rambo. I'm behind the enemy lines. I'm trying to get as many MIAs as I possibly can. Some people, I'm going to have to take them by gunpoint. Some, I'm going to have to drag you. Some, I'm going to have to carry you. And some of you, I'm going to just have to bust the cap on you. But you're coming. You're coming because the helicopter is not going to wait. And when I stand before God in the day of judgment, all I want to hear God say, well done, that good and faithful servant. All I want to do is stand before an almighty God and salute and say, mission accomplished. I brought in everything you gave me. I delivered. I tell God all the time, I'm better than Big Brown. It ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't no shame in my game. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be flamboyant. I'm not trying to be all of it. I'm not looking for people to make me or think me to be anything or nothing. I love God. I'm saved by choice. I'm a lifer. There is no parole for me. I'm not looking for a parole. I'm going to be in this until the Lord takes me home or I go back in the rapture. I'm going to preach this gospel that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the answer to every problem you got. I don't care what you're going through, what you're dealing with. Jesus is the answer. I don't care what pops up in your body. He's a miracle working God. When I left the hospital, they said, Mr. Rogers, we want to do one more thing. We want to do, uh, we want to check your uh, prostate. And they told me that uh, 4.5 was high. When they did mine, mine was 0.2. And the doctor told me, she said, Mr. Rogers, we're not going to take your money anymore. We're going to let you go home. They dismissed me. I have not been back. I haven't taken anything. I've done all the stuff that I do. Three acres of land I cleared by myself in Atlanta, Texas. I'm still doing everything I do. When I started driving to Atlanta from Dallas, I would drive sometime and have to stop two or three times just to get out and stretch and do this and that as God began to heal my body. I could be down there working, jump in the truck, take a shower, jump in the truck and drive all the way to Dallas straight through. I can drive to Atlanta now and turn around and drive back. No problem. I remember one time I was almost home and got to the exit coming off of 20 and my leg was so I had to pull over and get out of my truck and walk around for a while. God has blessed me to the point today I cut my own yard. I cut my yard yesterday. I cut, I, I got wisdom. I cut the back yesterday and I cut the front this morning, but I got it done. And you see the thing, what I'm saying here? And now I'm doing this tonight. I, 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 I'm sold out. I'm committed to God. I'm committed to the people of God. That's why I tell people all the time, listen, how many pastors would give their personal cell number out? I give my cell number on my card. I give it on my two radio broadcasts. We have a, uh, a broadcast in at Longview, Texas, KJTX 104.5 FM. I do that five days a week, 12 to 12, 15, and 3 to 3, 15 on Sundays. Make no mistake about it. I give my, I have KG, KGGR here in Dallas. 10.30 to 10.45 every Saturday morning. I give out my radio, my uh, on my radio broadcast. I give my phone number. I'm giving it out tonight. 214-914-6611. 214-914-6611. If you want a prayer clock, if you want some anointed oil, all you got to do is pick up that phone and call. My God, I'll make sure you get it. 
People are worried about the wrong thing. What we need is God. What we need is the presence of God. What we need is the anointing of God. How can the devil override the anointing of God? And when God's anointing is on your life, how can the devil override the anointing of God and attack you? This is what I'm saying to the people of God. 214-914-6611 is my cell number. My God, you can get your oil. You can you can do two things. You can do, uh, send, send it to the church. As what? Uh, one to one sign row. Oh, let's do it like this. P.O. Box 850-346 Mesquite, Texas. P.O. Box 850-346 Mesquite, Texas 75185. P.O. Box 850-346. You just want to put USDT on there. P.O. Box 850-346 Mesquite, Texas. The zip is 75185. If you'd like to call me, you can give me a call, 214-914-6611. We can't go, we're not at the church now, so if you call the church, we won't get the message. I might say, well, Pastor, I'm on. Your, your phone is going to explode. Let it explode for the glory of God, 214-914-6611. We're getting ready to go off the air. We're getting ready to bring this broadcast to a close. i also like to let you know I want to pray for you before we go off the air. Before we go off the air, we're going to have a word of prayer right now. Come on, come on. Let's go to the throne of grace. We're going to believe God, whatever it is. I don't care. He said, I don't care. Whatever it is right now, if you're sick in your body, you have a misery, you have a pain in your body, leg, hit back, I don't care if it's not embarrassing. Put your hand on it right now. God, in the name of Jesus, touch him right now. Give him a miracle. Raise him up for your glory and your honor, and we thank you for it right now. God, those that need a way made financially, do it in Jesus' name. And God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We'll give you all the thanks. Listen, I'm Apostle Rose. It's been a blast. Been just enjoyed being with you. Just enjoyed this time. Looking forward to next time. Remember, you don't have a problem. All you need is faith in God. Until we come your way again next time, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go with God. I promise you, God will go with you. Be blessed.